Through These Doors is sponsored by Shields. It off one timer by Joe. Big save. Rebound to score. Shane Gerson to brings it back to the point. Osmus shot. Knocked down. Rebound to score. Gerson on the doorstep. Puts the brakes on. Waits for help. Gerson for the hat trick. And he's got it. Pass from Snuggaroo. Take it away. Big shot and a score. Oh, he bombed that one. He got one last night, and Gage Osmus is feeling it. Historic WCHA rivalries continued last weekend as UND took on the Wisconsin Badgers back in the Ralph. Friday night got off to a hot start as Red Gardner opened up scoring just a few minutes into the first period. The rest of the team didn't let up the momentum, recording four more goals, including Gardner's hat trick and the first career shutout for Adam Shield. Away by North Dakota, shot kicked out by Shield, rebound, sliding was Kirsten to block it. They jam at it, hit the goal post. Out for mismatch, bounce through, Bernard Docker looking, shoot, scores! The freshman JBD with his first collegiate goal, and it's a 2 0 North Dakota lead. felt good. I mean, you don't score early on. You think, start thinking you're not going to score all year and uh, didn't expect to get three. I just wanted one to kind of break out of it. But no, I thought I had a good uh, good game last weekend in Minnesota and then uh, kind of just try to keep it rolling and try and stay hot here. Shaw spins to the near boards at the hash mark, feeds it cross ice on the left for Pullman. and a shot from there. They score! Pullman just whipped the shot from the left boards. And I'm not sure it got in there, but it got in there, and it's 4 nothing. UND controlling to Connick on the boards for Adams into the middle. A shot and a goal by Hattrick Gardner. Rutt Gardner high in the slot, pulled the trigger on that one-timer. His third of the game, third of the year, and it's 5 nothing. Fans on their feet for this UND performance and for a shutout for freshman goaltender Adam Shield. Saturday night, the Badgers were able to strike first, scoring in the first period, forcing the Fighting Hawks to try to make a comeback. Blocked the center, pass, pick, pocket, pick by Mismasher, turn, shoots, and scores! Just kind of went back to the last couple weekends of what gives you success in a game and 
you know, uh, you know, the first part of the season, like we've always talked about, something was missing uh, one part of the game, and I thought, you know, we've done a better job through practices and, and in games of playing a 60-minute game. Feed up the middle for Jones. He's got a break to the net. Jones to the forehand. Scores! Nick Jones got a great pass from Gabe Fast and beat Lebedev for his first goal of the season, and we're tied at one appear, two apiece. It was a fight to the finish for both teams, ending regulation 2-2, two to two, sending the game into overtime. Back for Bernard Docker, history scores! Jacob Bernard Docker with the power play goal and North Dakota wins 21 seconds into overtime. Rare. In different sports, it can mean different things. In hockey, rare feats are usually associated with things like a hat trick, an overtime game winner, both of which were accomplished by UND this weekend. UND controlling to Connick on the boards for Adams into the middle. A shot and a goal by hat trick Gardner. Rhett Gardner high in the slot pulled the trigger on that one timer. It was pretty special. Uh, I mean, as soon as I scored in the second, early on in the second, I thought maybe there was going to be a chance, and then I got that chance in the third. And as soon as it went in, uh, it was kind of shocked feeling. You don't really expect to score three goals in a game, but it was pretty cool. Fans on their feet for this UND performance and for a shutout for freshman goaltender Adam Shield. How about that? It's kind of like a sigh of relief. You kind of find yourself looking up at the clock a little bit, but no, at the end of the day, it's just another win, so. Players work hard to score goals, shut down power plays, and block pucks. But these rare feats are things that simply can't be practiced. It's really not something you really talk about. Uh, you know, it's, uh, it's kind of one of those, again, rare things that, you know, it just happened. And, you know, it's kind of, I wish, I wish we saw a couple more hats come down, but it was, it was cool to see uh, them start showering right away. Obviously, um, like we work on a lot of like quick release shooting and um, just system stuff. And if you kind of, we always believe that if you do the systems, you'll get your opportunities eventually. And obviously, some nights you don't get any, and I was, that night I got three. But um, yeah, just kind of working to get opportunities through our systems and it worked out. Hockey rarities like the shorthanded goal, a hat trick, or shutout can be exciting for student athletes. Instantly, I was kind of thinking, like, oh, we're going to have to deflate Rhett's ego now. But, uh, you know, you always got to give him crap for it. And, uh, you know, I'm really happy for, especially Adam, and uh, Rhett's coming alive on the score sheet, so it's good to see. But, uh, you know, it's, it's good for, for Adam to gain some confidence as a, as a freshman. While some players may never achieve one of these rarities in their time at North Dakota, the feelings when a teammate does accomplish one are thrilling for the whole team. I don't know, you got to give them a hard time, but you also got to congratulate them. Um, not very often do those two things happen, especially in college hockey. So, uh, I don't know, you got to be positive with them, you got to give them some reinforcement. You, gotta, can't, you can't let their head get too big. It's awesome to see, you know, you're always really happy for them, especially when they're succeeding like that, you're where the whole team succeeding. So, especially with like a hat trick and a shutout, it's it's a cool situation, especially for them. It's a kind of a boost in their confidence, and as a team, it's it's huge, and it gets a uh, momentum for us, and we have confidence. North Dakota cracks open the NCHC book once again as the Fighting Hawks open up conference play when they hit the road to Oxford, Ohio to take on the Miami Red Hawks. Uh, we, it'll be a good uh, series, obviously. Uh, NCHC rival there. And, uh, you know, they're, they're, uh, they're playing pretty well right now. I think they're 7-3. and three. So, uh, you know, I think we just need to stick to our game plan, go in there and uh, hopefully get two wins. Uh, they're playing really good hockey, so uh, it's, we're back in our NCAC conference. So 
So this is kind of our start for the Penrose here. So we got to come out and uh, kind of just establish our game early. And it's, it's going to be a big weekend for us. It's kind of our first step in the in our conference, and it's a uh, one we kind of have to have. Uh, I mean, they're a good team this year. Uh, they've had some struggles in the past, but I think it's uh, a new leaf for their program. So they're uh, they're a fast team. They like to create offense. You know, come to the neutral zone. So you just got to be ready for their speed, and their creativity. Good job, I'm going to look at the